George Carlton? Yes. Yeah. Did you ever see him on that show where he got up in front of everybody and just stood there? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I can talk to murderers, rapists, child molesters, and bad check writers all day long. But you get up in front of a crowd of good people and you get to <laughs> I'm Darren Reed. I'm running for uh, sheriff of Ozark County. Uh, Butch, that was a good, uh, that was a good uh, deal you done here. Uh, me and Butch is all we've got along, and it's, it makes a lot easier when you're out campaigning at functions like this when you're not fighting with your candidates. <laughs> so, but anyway, I'm chief deputy at the sheriff's department. I started back in law enforcement back when Herman Pierce was uh, sheriff of Ozark County. I don't know if you guys remember that or not. Uh, that could be. <laughs> um, my family homesteaded in Ozark County in 1827. They homesteaded over in Isabella, uh, not Isabella, but uh, Elijah, over between Bakersfield and over by Bakersfield, where I was, uh, where I was raised at. I spent most of my law enforcement career in Powell County. I was uh, Chief Detective at West Plains Police Department and Chief Deputy at the uh, Howe County Sheriff's Department. Whenever I come over here to Ozark County, the drug situation was totally out of control. It still is. It's something that's going to be out of control for quite some time. If you take 90% of our crimes, they're associated to drugs in one, one way or another. Uh, Tom Klein, who had an arson here in, in Pontiac, his arson was uh, contributed to uh, methamphetamines, over uh, two ounces of, uh, of meth, debt that a uh, abuser owed a uh, dealer. And that's still going to court. I think we go to trial on that sometime in December. Uh, we've had one homicide in Ozark County in the past three years, and it was drug-related to methamphetamine. So there is a drug problem in Ozark County. I have personally got into every school in Ozark County, talking to our educators, talking to our, our students, our youth, and also our communities. I feel like a, uh, an informed community is a safer community. I don't hold nothing back from the citizens when it comes to safety. And uh, I have PowerPoint presentations that I put on <coughs> for communities, for schools, and uh, also our educators to inform them a little bit more what's going on. Something else that I work hard on is the uh, registered uh, sex offender program. Back in the mid '90s, we did the state of Missouri was not a was not in compliance. It was not a registered state with the sex offender. I worked a very brutal uh, rape and assault on a mother and her 15-year-old daughter and tracked them all the way to uh, Tecumseh, Missouri, where they was hiding behind um, the country convenience store. Uh, long story short, we made the arrest. I approached Jess Garnett, who was the uh, uh, state representative at that time. And we took this all the way to Jefferson City, and within three months, Missouri was a registered sex offender state. And that helps law enforcement out considerably. Something that I want our, we don't have the money to, to have one of these high-tech internet systems like Baxter County's got, which I would love to have, to pinpoint where sex offenders live inside of our county. Um, where you, as a citizen, can check and see where they live at. Uh, but what we are going to do is we are going to go within a mile radius of where these sex offenders live and let you know that you have a sex offender living within a mile radius of your house. I'll give you a picture of them and show you what they look like. And I'm talking about violent sex offenders and child molesters, not the 15-year-old, 17-year-old type deal. Um, we're going to try to give them the exposure that they don't want, not to intimidate them, not to threaten them, but to make our community safer. We work hard. I work hard. I work on no clock. I work sometimes. You'll see me out at 2 in the morning, 4 in the morning, 12 noon, 8 in the morning, 7. I work around the clock for the citizens of Ozark County. Always have, always will. On August the 7th, I'd appreciate your consideration whenever you go to the polls to 
It's a very, very important decision that you have to make. There's a lot of good candidates, and I ask that you listen to each one of their, their uh, ideals, what they're going to do. I've had somebody ask me, what are you going to change at the Sheriff's Department? And I said, absolutely nothing. We're going to keep trucking just like we have been. I've got a bunch of fine young men and women that are coming up in law enforcement. I'm also an instructor with the Missouri Sheriff's Association Academy for new recruits. And uh, we've got a bunch of fine young men and women that's coming up in law enforcement. I need your help on August the 7th to continue my voyage. Uh, I have nothing negative to say about my opponents. They're, they're, they're all good men. I just ask that you put a lot of consideration into it. Thank you for your time. I appreciate the uh, fire department having us here. Thank you.